Today on Switch to Linux, I want to talk about using multiple different operating systems for multiple different purposes. Of course, we're talking about Linux operating systems. You see, when I'm doing my regular work, I want the stability to make sure that when I turn the computer on, nothing is going to change even after I do some form of security update. So to this end, I actually use Linux Mint usually for my LTS more um, production flow, which doesn't change a lot, but I also use Arch systems to have a look at what might be coming on down the road. So today I'm gonna to talk about five reasons I use both operating systems, uh, an LTS based on Linux Mint and an Arch based system based on Endeavor. Welcome back to Switch to Linux. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that now. Make sure you're still subscribed if you have been in the past, just to double check. If you like new content on um, Linux, switching to Linux, other things about uh, privacy and other computer things, or hey, maybe you wanna talk about computers while we walk in the woods, why not, right? But today I wanna talk about why I use two systems, and I'm gonna talk about the two major production systems I use right now, primarily being Linux Mint or MX Linux, depending on which computer I'm on, and Arch Linux through Endeavor OS. Now, these are two completely different philosophies. One is LTS, long-term stable. This means that you install it, there's no major package changes. All you are gonna get is security updates and bug fixes. That's all you're gonna see on these types of systems. What this means is that your system is going to not change. It's gonna be the same yesterday and today, and hopefully after the update, nothing major is gonna go on with your system. On the Arch system, this is called a rolling release. There is never a new version to install. Once you install it, you never have to go back and rerun an installation. Every time you run those updates, you are getting the latest packages, including the latest feature updates. Absolutely everything is going to be new every time. Now there's different use cases for each of these scenarios. And today I highlighted five different ideas as to what might make you cause uh, to use one over the other and why I actually use both in my day-to-day -day workflow. So the first thing that I want to do with different versions of Linux is I want to learn how to run different types of operating systems. Arch is different than Debian is different in many ways from Ubuntu or Linux Mint. We have the AUR in Arch, we have Pac-Man there, we have Apt in Ubuntu. I want to get as well-rounded as I can personally and so I use the different versions out there so that I can get experience with each of the different ways. This way I also know how do I update things in the terminal terminal, how do I stay up to date, and I know that if there's something like um, the one system I can't remember how to do any updates in is OpenSUSE. Can't remember how they do updates. I think they use DNF though. If they do, I'm okay because I do have some Fedora experience in my bucket as well, just not nearly as much. But each one of these different Linux operating systems themselves behaves slightly different level slightly differently under the, the core level of the operating system itself. And so by using the different systems, I get a chance to test out how Linux is going to work under different circumstances. And that really is a great reason to run multiple different operating systems if you have the means to do so. So the second thing I like about using Arch and Linux Mint simultaneously is since Arch rolls its packages as soon as that new version is out, or at least very closely thereafter, but Linux Mint doesn't, it gets me a chance to install the same packages on Arch that I use in my day-to-day -day production on Linux Mint, and I can learn about any new changes, I can learn about feature adjustments, I can learn about other things that the platform is going to change if I push those updates, which might mean when I go from Linux Mint 21 to Linux Mint 22, I might see those changes, and if I've already played with it a little bit on Arch, I'm familiar with the change that's gonna happen in my workflow. So using both systems then allows me to get in there and test around different package versions. Now this is important because the one package I can think of was Audacity. 
I use this as an example because I use Audacity a lot in podcasting and in audiobook production and even in correcting the audio in the videos uh, that I tend to record live. And one of the major updates for to Audacity completely moved where all the macros were and I require the macros for doing audiobook production and I didn't know where they were and I was under a deadline so I had to hunt around to figure out where did they move the macros. They literally took them from one menu and put them in a completely different menu on the other side of the application. Like what? And then of course they changed some of the plugins and things like that. Well, if I had installed it on Arch at that point in time as well, I would have actually had everything in place to test that out and to try things. So that's another good reason is that we want to test out different package versions before they come to your full production build. So the third thing that I like to do with these different systems is one of them is a stage and ground for testing new software that I might want to look at throwing into my workflow. Now granted this is not Linux Mint versus Endeavor, this is just two different systems. It allows me to go ahead and install one system and uh, keep one of them completely clean, devoid of any other artifacts or any other applications or any other bugs, and then allows me to test something out. So in this instance here, I actually use Endeavor as kind of my catch-all operating system that I use for testing software and things like that. So I'll go ahead and test everything out over there. If something goes wonky or doesn't have an issue, eh, that's fine. Uh, I'll just not use it on my production system, but in the event something causes some major problem, I don't don't want it to impact the regular production flow. I'd rather impact the computer I use to watch videos and do basic research stuff, which is much easier to clean up than a full-fledged production computer. So that's not, again, Endeavor versus Mint. It's just an argument for having two different operating systems. Or if you can't even do that, what you can actually do is just test it out with a live build and install it just locally on the live build to play around with it a little bit. Of course, you might need persistence if you need to keep it on there a little bit longer. But nevertheless, testing out different software without impacting the production computer is a very valid choice for using multiple operating systems. So the fourth reason that I want to run Endeavor as an Arch system and Linux Mint Cinnamon as a production system is sometimes the different systems do things a little bit differently. For example, phone ROMs. If you're flashing phone ROMs, there's some things that Fastboot does installing a little bit differently on Debian than it does on Arch. And so to do phone flashing, it's generally better to do it on Arch than it is to do it on uh, Linux Mint. And so this gives me other operating systems to try something. So um, look at, for example, Wadroid. When I did the experimentation with that, I tried it on a number of different distributions. Um, all of them had Wayland, and the only one I got to work well on is Fedora. So if you need some critical application and it's not working, you might try just a different Linux distribution. And the reason this happens is different Linux distributions install things in slightly different ways. And because of this, it's very possible that uh, the distribution just lacks some weird, obscure internal library that most people don't even know exists. You don't even know it's in there, but it's the magical critical component to get some piece of software to work. And thus, by running a couple of different versions of operating systems, you do some Arch, you do some Debian, you might actually get an application working that you have tried forever to get on Debian, it just doesn't work. And I also experienced this running one particular application with Wine. Uh, this is right when Ubuntu had dropped uh, the 32-bit libraries, and even with a lot of manipulation, I still couldn't get some things working on Wine I was trying to, and the only fix was to upgrade to the next version of the Ubuntu LTS. So that is one of those factors that happens to uh, happens to get in the way there is <laughs> you run into a situation where some software package doesn't work. It's just try it on Arch, try it on Debian, try it on Fedora. That's a very good reason to run multiple distributions.
So the fifth thing and the final thing here that we're going to list in this video, reasons I run different systems. Uh, this one is definitely the Arch versus the Linux Mint. And that is if something like the core operating system itself changes a little bit. So for example, I run Cinnamon as my favorite desktop. So I have Cinnamon on Endeavor OS and I have Cinnamon on my Linux Mint systems. Now I've not pushed my Cinnamon to the latest version yet uh, in my production builds. One of my production builds is true, I have. But the main work that I do for this channel and for other things, I haven't pushed that. So we're still running a version five of Cinnamon. Well, version six of Cinnamon introduced a lot of things. This allows me to do a couple things as I push the updates on Arch. Cinnamon 6 rolls into Arch. Number one, I'm looking for bugs. I can either report those, deal with those, or whatever else it takes, I'm dealing with the bugs. And number two, I'm learning some of the differences between the system. How have they rechanged menus? How have they done the, uh, the brand new actions or something Cinnamon 6 now has? The new um, theming such, uh, things like that. So these are all functions and elements that I do inside of uh, inside of the, the system that I can test on Arch rolling it ahead prior to it coming into uh, prior to it coming on into uh, your uh, main production flow. So again, it kind of piggybacks off of that same idea that I'm testing software, but in this case I can test software a little bit uh, more quickly. So that is our fifth reason why I prefer to run other systems. Of course, this would apply when Ubuntu updates to the latest version of GNOME and you're not yet familiar with the versions of GNOME. Well, you might very well get GNOME uh, uh, changes. So if you're testing out two different versions, you might get a chance to see some of that as it goes. So that is what we are doing in that respect. So uh, with this, we'll go ahead and wrap this video up here with a few concluding remarks. So in the final conclusion for this video here, we want to talk about the idea that using different operating systems, particularly under Linux, you might get a couple different results. Now, I'm not saying that Linux is overly complicated, that you absolutely have to use this versus that. I'm not saying that in the slightest. What I am saying is that the occasional odd piece of software may work better under one build than another. If you're having problems, check out another Linux distribution. If you're on Fedora, check out Ubuntu. If you're on Ubuntu, check out Debian. If you're on Debian, check out Arch. And utilizing a couple of different systems is very beneficial. Now, you might say, I don't have two computers. You can actually do this with just external hard drives, which are significantly different. Use the same piece of hardware, two completely different operating systems built on two completely different uh, hard drives. And just boot off of the external hard drive when you need that, the internal when you need that. And so there's a number of different ways you can test things out. In my case, I just have a couple different computers. So one of them is always running Arch. One of them is always running Linux Mint. This way I get a chance to test out the different builds. So that is our conclusion, our wrap up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And of course you can uh, hit that uh, like button down below or hey, a dislike button. And let me know how you like the format of this little top five here, walking through the woods with me, getting a chance to see some beautiful nature and then talking some geek stuff. I'll just remind everybody, get outside, get a little bit of exercise from time to time. That Linux computer is going to be there when you come back. With that, I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.